This is a Honda 2200 uh, companion unit. I'm trying it out with my AC units here. So this one's showing somewhere between 60 and 80 degrees. I got it set for 60. And this one is uh, about 1,000 watts. It's a 13,000, no, excuse me, a 10,000 BTU unit. And it's actually working pretty well. It took a little bit for it to come on, though, the compressor, and you can really hear the RPM step. And now I'm trying it on this 8,500 BTU unit. It's actually set for less than 84. That's just the current temperature in the garage right there. But it was floating a little below 80 on the temperature. Didn't seem to work as well, even though it's less power. Strange. Now I'm going to um, this Bauer Impact Harbor Freight, uh, 120 volt, 8.5 amp. You multiply those together to get the wattage, which is 1,020, or you know, somewhere around there watts. This generator should be able to do, uh, you know, 2,200 above. So that's the starting procedure. Make sure the cap uh, vent is on. Turn the echo throttle off. Put the choke on if you need it and uh, turn on the, the fuel on the left side. Start it up. The pull start. Plug it in. And you can hear the um, generator just barely rev up when you uh, use the impact. So it works really well for that. I'm hoping to use it with my chainsaw too, electric chainsaw. So I'm just demonstrating here the echo throttle. You can hear the difference kind of brings down the RPMs when you're not using it. But overall, pretty happy with the generator. When when I had it running with those AC units, it was it was loud. I mean, you wouldn't want that if you're at one of those campsites where you got people right next to you and no one else has a generator. That'd be kind of annoying. Now, I'm just demonstrating here with the Bauer uh, impact from Harbor Freight. Uh, it, it's a high speed. You know, it's impact and high speed, and so that helped with this project, uh, reinforcing the garage door, self-tapping screws, 